Hi, my name is Christian Grotto. And I am Wilden Bruce. Welcome to the first episode of Wildcats Bi-Weekly, brought to you personally by the SLCS Videography Class. This is a direct to the school and community news service to keep you informed on all the need-to-know information pertaining to Screen Lake Central School. We will be providing you with information about the school, such as important announcements, upcoming events, sports, news, and much more. Today we will be highlighting this past weekend's Senior Ball, this week's upcoming Open House, and a special project being undertaken by the Product Design class, as well as the current sports season updates. In the past, our school has normally featured a welcome back hike and beach day to get our students excited for the start of school. However, this year the Student Council changed things up by hosting a welcome back to school beach party. For both middle school and high school, this was a day full of fun and food at the beach and volleyball. It was a good time. This weekend, this past weekend, Senior Ball was a large success for those who attended. It was held at the newly renovated Frontier Town A-Frame. The following after party, which was funded by the Stop D DWI Foundation, was held at the Glens Falls Fun Spot. The iconic Adirondack Western theme park opened in 1952, and it was a roaring success till its subsequent decline 46 years later. It is now Mohammed Ahmad's goal to breathe back life into this gateway to the Adirondacks and SLCS was truly honored to be a part of this historic event. Throughout the project planning, all eyes were locked on this site right here. Everyone knew this site, the iconic A-frame site, was going to be critical in the success of the overall project. And this is where I turn to this man right here. He jumped into action. from the former owner, which, might I add, others were unable to do. And what Mo brought with him was a grand vision. He took that vision, he turned it into a business plan, and he went running. What you see today is just the beginning of Mo's vision and plan. He and his amazing crew of craftsmen have taken this grand building of yesteryear and given it a new life. It stands more beautiful than ever. Thank you, Mo, for investing in our community so generously. There have been many uncertainties in recent times, especially with planning events for our kids. When it came time to plan for the class of 2022 junior prom last year, we asked them to consider waiting until fall and instead to plan a senior ball. And they made the decision to wait. Uh, my co-advisor, Ms. Corey, and I convinced the class to have faith that it would happen when they came back. Now we had to find a venue, and so I decided to see what was going on at Frontier Town. So in June, uh, Mo took me on a thorough tour of what I realized was a magnificent work in progress, and I could see how proud he was of, of this amazing renovation. He assured me that it would be ready for us in September. Uh, when I left, I have to say I was a bit skeptical. But once again, we asked our class to have faith that it would be ready. And tonight. here we are tonight. Just a reminder that open house is tomorrow, Wednesday the 29th at 5.30 5 p.m. This year it will be held outside. Elementary families will be in the back of the school, the soccer field. And middle school and high school students will be on the front lawn. You can speak with your teachers, look at all the clubs we have to offer. It will be a good time. Also, the student council is trying to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month within the school. Here is Vice President Kayla Hayden. Hey guys, I'm Kaylee Hayden, Vice President of Student Council, and I have wonderful Mrs. Turrell right beside me. She is the pre-K aide, and it is uh, Spanish Heritage Month right now, and we would love to learn about Spanish Heritage. So, Mrs. Turrell, can you tell us where you're from? I'm from Tijuana, Me Mexico. Can you tell us anything about uh, what brought you to Scroon Lake? Well, uh, my husband uh, grew up from Scroon Lake, and I got married, and here I am 32 years later. Nice, wonderful. Um, can you tell us anything about the, your Spanish heritage that you would love to share to the community? Sure. I, um, 
I grew up down there and uh, I had a wonderful family that I grew up with and uh, with uh, 10 brothers and sisters. And uh, I had a very good uh, childhood. Nice, and can you tell us anything in Spanish that we won't understand? I'd love to hear it. Hola, me llamo Carla y que tengan buen día. Wonderful, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. You're welcome. Another reminder that Picture Day is this upcoming Monday, October 4th. Also, the Bench Project is being undertaken by SLCS's design class due to the fact that SLCS is currently grappling with the issue of trying to keep students socially distanced but also able to socialize. Therefore, this class is designing a convertible bench that can have a, it is a multifaceted design, so you'll be able to convert it into a picnic table that can seat two, and then, if it does not fit to your needs, you can convert it into a regular park bench. And also, once the COVID pandemic is over, you can put two and two together and make one regular full picnic table. Hello, how's it going? My name is Isaiah Pelkey. Um, this here is a convertible bench that the product design and production class has been creating. Um, today we'll be going over a few key highlights for this thing here. Um, it starts with just a regular bench, so you can be chilling here. Um, if you got a free period you want to come outside, you can come sit at the bench. Um, it has these nice armrests here, you know, makes it more comfortable. And uh, some of the key functions on it, uh, as you can see here, there's hinges on both sides, and this allows it to fold over very easily. Um, the backrest which is different from some types as the other one, which I'll show you later. The backrest is not where people will be eating for lunch. It'll be on a completely separate layer of boards, I guess you say. And so you won't have any food or anything on your back. And yeah, um, it flips really easily. Anyone can do it. Little kids can do it. It's just really durable. And yeah, Wyatt will tell you about the table part. I'm Wyatt. So this is um, the desk portion of our bench desk convertible table. So um, as you can see, it's at a good height to eat or uh, work on schoolwork. And um, like Isaiah said before, it's really easy just to convert back to the bench. And something that's really nice about this particular model is that uh, whether you're at the desk or the bench, it's always facing in the same direction. So whether you're, you know, you're sitting at, at the desk doing work, you're facing a direction, and then when you tip it back and you're sitting at the bench, you're also uh, facing the same direction. So that makes it nice for, um, you know, if it was in a classroom or something like that. Um, it's made of two by fours that we uh, oil coated for waterproof. And um, feel free if uh, any of you are who see this are out in the field to come and try these out. They're really um, they're cool to sit on, it's cool how they work, so uh, thank you very much. Hello, so this is a bench we made in our product design and development class made out of two by sixes. It is a convertible bench into a seat. And in order to do that, I'll show you how it works. There is pins on both sides. It's nice and relaxing. Pretty, pretty good space. Nice bench. If you are interested and would like one of these tables, just contact Mr. Bernhard. We are producing them right now and they are available um, to you guys. So yeah, if you want one, just contact Mr. Bernhard or get a hold of Wyatt or myself or Matthew and we'll get you hooked up. Have a good one. On Saturday, the boys' varsity had a big 5-3 win over Willsboro, while the boys' modified beat Willsboro 8-2. The boys' modified also won in Crown Point on Monday the 20th, 7-2. The girls' modified started off strong with a 1-1 tie in double overtime over Keene Valley, followed by a 7-1 win over Crown Point. Crown Point came to face off the girls' modified again at home, where the girls' mod beat them 6-0. The girls' varsity also played Crown Point, which resulted in a 1-1 tie, followed by a 4-1 win over Indian Lake Long Lake. On Monday night, the girls' varsity had a senior night where they honored the Scroon Lake seniors. 
Kaylee Frazier, Maddie Prickrell, Kaylee Hayden, Rihanna Barrett, and Haley Emmerich. This game resulted in a 1-0 win in overtime with a great goal by Kaylee Hayden. Thanks everyone for watching our first broadcast of Wildcats Bi-Weekly. We would love to hear any feedback that you may have on how we can improve your viewing experience. Please email trivia at SL Wildcats for any questions or comments or advice or even if you just think we should have a new title because we're open suggestions. Thanks for watching.